released in 2007 and... Oh, wait. Shit. Wrong Hitman movie. Hitman is out now in select theaters. Luckily, I had a theater that was showing it around me, so I went to go see it early. Got an early review out for you guys. It's also going to be on Netflix on June 7th, which is next week. This stars Glenn Powell and Audrea Arjona. A mild-mannered professor moonlighting as a fake contract killer sparks a chain reaction of trouble when he falls for a client. Hitman is directed by Richard Linklater, and the few things that I've seen of Richard Linklater, I haven't been the biggest fan of him, other than School of Rock. I love School of Rock, but everybody wants some, dazed and confused. Not really the biggest fan of those movies, but I get what he does. He focuses more on character interactions over plot, and that's really what he does here with Hitman, but with Hitman, I'm kind of in that boat where I love it, because it does have this brisk pace to it, and I appreciated that a lot, because there are some slow-moving scenes in here, but they feel like they have a lot more momentum than I think any other director probably could have given them, because it is Linklater, and he knows how to inject energy into a lot of talking scenes, and it's also interesting to see somebody like Glenn Powell playing a character who has so many different dimensions to him and has so many different ways he operates, which I love that about Glenn Powell in this movie. Glenn Powell is really good in this movie. He's definitely going to be like our next big movie star. I can tell you that right now. I mean, Ryan Gosling's a huge movie star. We're getting Timothy Chalamet now, Austin Butler, and in comes Glenn Powell. He is fantastic in this movie. He has so many different personas he has to play. He has so many different voices he has to put on, so many different costumes he has to put on. Really, what you're getting at is that he's tapping into so many different dimensions and facets of the of this character. He has so many different aspects. He has to play the college professor. He has to play the informant for the cops and he has to play being a fake hitman while also being a new love interest for Adria Arjona's character who I think is equally as good as Glenn Powell in this movie I haven't really said all that much about her in previous movies that I reviewed that she's been in but I think this is her breakout she is awesome their chemistry is off the charts sexy it is steamy those two are really really freaking good <laughs> like i don't know if anybody could have picked a better duo to have build off of each other and banter off of each other i mean i didn't really think glenn powell and sydney sweeney had that much chemistry in anyone but you but they somehow made it work audrea arjona and glenn powell oh yeah oh yeah they ooze it man the moment he meets her you're like oh yeah Oh yeah, you you guys are compatible. You you got you got the sauce, man. And I love seeing how much the lie was going to exploit this new relationship that they had and it's interesting the ways that it goes. I was actually really enthralled by a lot of scenes in this movie. It's not an action movie. It's not an action comedy by any means. It's a typical Richard Linklater movie. It has a lot of those Richard Linklater isms. It focuses a lot on character situations and character development over plot the plot of the movie doesn't really come in until about the last 45 minutes in the movie and there will be people sitting in the theater saying wow that took forever to get going and once it does get going though it is fairly good until it starts to feel a little bit rushed towards the end and i think that that's my biggest gripe with hitman is that there are aspects of this movie that feel glossed over the first moment he meets audrea arjona's character madison they instantly have this connection and i totally bought that this was a tangible relationship because they had that connection and they had the chemistry it wasn't because they actually built this relationship up it feels rushed in that regard where it just feels like they just kind of go into it without any strings attached and i guess a lot of these movies kind of do that but it did feel a bit rushed to me and then the way the movie wraps up and aspects of the third act felt a little bit rushed to me as well for instance there's a reveal for in the third act with glenn powell's character gary johnson where he reveals to madison something and a scene later when he goes to talk to her again he's doing something completely different with her and she just kind of accepts something it just feels like it glossed over a whole conversation that these two were supposed to have you know the typical rom-com conversation that you see in these movies 
that's that's what it felt like it glossed, glossed over and i just think it wrapped up a little bit too quickly but i thoroughly enjoyed hitman i think i don't think i would have enjoyed this so much if i had seen it in my own house first i enjoyed seeing this in a theater i like seeing glenn powell just tap into so many different dimensions of this character i thought that the chemistry was off the charts between these two steamy saucy you got it all here and it was a diff it was one of those link later films that i felt like had a lot of energy to it and i don't think he brings that a lot sometimes as something like everybody wants some i guess i was expecting a baseball movie with that and i just didn't get the baseball movie that i wanted i just found that to be tedious and monotonous and boring i didn't i didn't feel that way with hitman hitman is really good if you have a full bucket of popcorn or in my case i went to the alamo draft house i had a full lunch and it was awesome so if you do get the chance to see hitman at a theater near you if it is playing in a theater near you like an Alamo draft house, definitely go see it before it hits Netflix next week. And if you have seen it, what did you think of Hitman? Leave me a comment in the comment section below. I'll leave my link to my website in the description below as well. You guys are the best. Thank you for watching. My name is Alex Madden, and I will see you at the movies somewhere.